this is Sandeep Kumar and I got uh, I along with Rajender and uh, Hima Kiran and T Mahesh we guys made this project Mosquito Repellent Circuit basically we use in our homes like uh, creams like coils those kind of things harm to they, they, they cause harm to human beings and many fatal diseases okay uh, and creams causes the reactions also like and they, they form they cause aller allergy on this cream but now this is a simple electronic circuit we basically use the principle of a stable multivibrator in use to generate this circuit I use the triple five timer over here the IC triple five timer in this case uh, the, this is IC triple five timer I use the nine volt battery I use the 7805 in order to get the five volt uh, input to the to our IC triple five timer, basically eight pin as I connected to VCC, okay. And there are two registers RA, RB, and capacitor C, and I connected a piezo buzzer over here at the output pin. See, let me tell you about uh, uh, about the mosquito repellent circuit. Basically, as we know, the a stable multivibrator produces the alternating uh, square wave uh, of uh, the design frequency as I designed for the 38 kilohertz because it, that is an ultrasound frequency and what I'm saying why it's a, a mosquito repellent because mosquito get, got repelled at this frequency because it's an ultrasound frequency that frequency the frequency between 20 kilohertz to 38 kilohertz that causes the stress on their anti antenna which is there on their mouth I mean they are having all the antennas that causes the repellent they, 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 that cause the stress on the basically on the female mosquitoes so that is why they got repelled whenever we applied uh, such a circuit whenever we apply a uh, frequency of 38 kilohertz in ultrasound region then they got repelled so over here I use now I start if I this is SPST switch this and this LED this SPST switch controls the basically working of that if if I turn it on and this LED implies that the circuit is on now this piezo buzzer is not making any sound that is it is in ultrasound region see let me show you uh, let me show you whether it's working or not I connected this piezo buzzer's red pin means this the output pin to the pin number three of our IC triple five timer as you can see from here it is connected to pin number three of IC triple five timer and that is an output pin okay and the other pin is I connected to the ground which is basically from the first pin and uh, we have LED that is showing that the circuit is on uh, okay also let me show you whether uh, this circuit is okay I mean this piezo buzzer is working or not you may be thinking whether it's working or not now you can see this is the actual sound that a piezo buzzer makes in the hearable range and in the hearable or audible range as you can see you cannot hear this sound this is a I mean this is a more mm, very ba very bad sound we, we don't want to hear such a sound but that is all that is in the audible range only but I now I connected it over here what implies what it implies that the circuit is on and this is uh, this LED shows that the circuit is on and this they, this is not making any sound that implies that the that it is in the ultrasound range only and since I designed for the 38 kilohertz let me explain how it I designed I connected a capacitor basically a capacitor and two two registers RA, RB, and a capacitor. These three control the frequency as the frequency formula for the IC triple fiber F equal to 1.44 divided by RA plus 2RB into C. I, I took the C equal to 10 nanofarad. Uh, it's a ceramic capacitor and uh, and uh, RA. Uh, also there is a for the for the duty cycle we have a frequency I mean we have a formula for the duty cycle percentage duty cycle equals to RA plus RB divided by RA plus 2 RB from that I designed for the 50 50 uh, 50 percent duty cycle and 50 percent duty cycle if we solve these two equations we get RA equal to 0 so I sorted the pin number 7 and pin number 8 so is, is that what implies that is it's now uh, 
Okay, and for the RB case, the calculated value if you calculate will get around 1.9 kilo ohm. And I designed it and I put it 1.9 kilo ohm as I connected over there. Yeah. And uh, with that, I connected a 10 microfarad capacitor. The 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 seven and eight are connected to the same point because there is no RA and RB is connected between the pin number 7 and pin number 6 as you can see and 6 and 2 are connected together so this this whole implies this all the three design I mean design of all the three values imply that the fre theoretical frequency is 38 kilohertz and since this buzz piezo buzzer is not making any sound so this also implies that the frequency is in ultrasound re range and if it is an ultrasound range means it is about 20 kilohertz means the mosquito has to be repaired that is explained basically scientifically so that is a mosquito repellent circuit as you can see I have switched off the fan and under the switching, switching off a of fan I mean there are definitely one or two mosquitoes come nearby the person of human heat but as you can see there is no mosquito nearby me so that means that implies that the circuit is working properly now my friend Rajendra will speak about the basically working of IC triple five timer and its pin configurations uh, I am telling about a uh, what is the pin diagram of IC triple five in IC triple five pin number one is ground. Pin number one is grounded, and the pin number mm, two is trigger pin. It is active low pin. Pin number three is output pin, which is connected to piezo buzzer, and pin number four is reset pin. It is active low pin. It is usually connected to positive end of the battery. Pin number 5 is control pin which is used for safety purpose. Pin number 6 is threshold pin. Pin number 6 and 7 are connected to each other. Pin number 7 is discharge pin which is internally connected a one transistor which is discharged through collector and pin number 8 is VCC that's all uh, about the working of this IC triple timer and uh, triple five timer and and we guys made this project and this project is working properly and you can see there is no mosquito and uh, there are few two more guys with us but unfortunately they are not present now or here the name is Himakira and, and T Mahesh we all four guys made this project those two guys help in breaking the component from the city and mukam etc and also help us in getting other things whatever is needed and all other and also help us in assembling the circuit so we we all four assemble the circuit and we think we would like to thank Ms. Saima ma'am uh, she help us, I mean, she allow us to make a project out of other than those 20 projects which ma'am has assigned for us. So we take our own project and we assembled it over here and we are really happy that we are successful in building our project. And thank you. Goodbye. Good night.